No swearing. No, Joe, just before you go live, just, just be I'm prepared. I'm live. Are you? Mm. I'm just waiting for people to join. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> be prepared for what? Yeah, right, I'm just hanging on. Just sat wait. So I can say hello to people. Ooh, look. Ooh. Scary face. Couldn't do a bit, a of, bit of scrying while I was in. Hello. Oh. I have people. <laughs> Like I think I think I think that's Al. Could be. Hello, everybody. I'm trying not to look spooky and scary. Hi, Al. <laughs> I've got to be mindful where I'm pointing my torch because there's a road behind me, so I don't really want to blind any drivers. <laughs> Hello, everyone. There was a pile up. Yeah, there's a multiple pile up caused by. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Becky. <laughs> Right. Hiya, Steve. Thanks for joining. I warn you, the camera picks up it. This microphone picks up everything. <laughs> right. So, we've got to have a few who have joined us. Welcome. Hi, Adam. Nice to join us. Uh, nice to join you. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for joining, I was going to say. I've got my tongue tied. But, um, right. We've got a very interesting place here. One of those ones that don't know whether we'll get anything. We may, we may not. There is a little bit of history, which I'll I'll let Rob tell you in a second as normal. Um, I'll turn the camera around in a second and show you what we've got. And bear with me. Try not to blind myself. Let me turn my torch off. Right, let me turn the camera around. So... It's all about those stones, called the bride stones. So I'm going to let Rob, I'm going to turn around, try not to blind him, and let him tell you all the story. Over to you, Rob. Good evening. Um, yeah. The bride stones. Oh, well, one thing before, I will introduce everybody, because we have two very special guests with us tonight, so I will, uh, I'll introduce everybody in a moment, so go on then. Yeah, the, the bride says, there's, um, there's not a lot about it, actually. Um, it's, well, I have actually Googled it, and it's basically the word prehistoric comes up, up a lot. Um, but, yeah, the only story really attached to them is it's possible that it's connected to the death of a bride or the murder of a bride, hence the bride stones. Um, but if you look along here... Oh, hang on, this is where I'm going to move. <laughs> You've got what could be the foundations of a building. So there's, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, a mystery. Steve says hi, Mum. Hi. You're not supposed to know who's here yet. <laughs> I haven't introduced anybody yet. <laughs> oh, is that you it's saying that, object? Yeah. Quite possibly. Well, that one's just flashed as well. Yeah, it's probably mate. Right, so that's that's what we've got. Go on. I'm just trying to find my stone to sit back down again. That's it. Oh, I'm privileged tonight. I've actually got somewhere to perch. Carry on, Rob. Sorry. Um, yeah, so it's there's not a lot about it. In fact, I don't think looking on looking on the, the, the internet, I don't think that many people actually know it's here. It's on the map. It's on it's on Google Earth. Um, yeah, but um, very interesting. Again. Whether we get anything or not here, we don't know. We don't know any, of any other groups that have been here, um, but we'll see. We'll Adam see. says he knows exactly where we are. All oh, right, that's good. Which is good because it's just down the road from where he was born and raised. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, Adam, if you know any more about it, then, um, yeah, if you can shout up if you know any more history about it. Hi, Claire, good evening. What's that? Victor. Oh, the Victor. Right, so obviously we've got Rob there. Good evening. Got Sarah there. Hi. Now watch out because I am going to turn it around. I'll try not to blind you. <laughs> keep your eyes, keep your eyes shut. Just try to look that way. So we've got Hi. Darren and Hi. Diane there, who are our very special guests. She's been <laughs> nagging me for ages to come and do one up here. Yay. So we've finally got round to it. Right. Oh, dear, that moved. Leave. I did, Claire. Yes, thank you. I've got. I've got to get back to you about that one. Yes, very, very interesting uh, screenshot. Very, very interesting. 
Um, I do apologise, we've been running around the countryside today um, and haven't had five minutes to, to do anything really. Okay, Roberto, it is over to you. I'd like to invite any spirits that are in this location to come forward. It is Diane Cooper, Claire, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't mean any harm or disrespect. Well, we do inv invite communication with yourself, if possible. Um, we've got one or two little boxes and things dotted around, lit up, glowing on the floor. That's not me. Are you sure? Yeah. I can't see anything. Just step away from it. I've got a wall behind me. That one's just gone off down there as well. Which one? That I've one. Been studying that one on the floor. That one on over there okay. has just gone off. Look, there you go. I've been stood in the same spot all night. Spirit, if, the, if that's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, like there you go. It's gone off again. Which one? The one on the table. Table. I've been on up a while. Run now. Going nowhere. <laughs> We're going <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. If you're with us, if I you can't can run anyway. If you can communicate with us, <laughs> you've seen one of the little boxes uh, flashing. If you walk up to any of the others, so we've got K2s and table there, which we'll use, and flashing ball. See, if that was me, it'd be setting this one off as well. True. Right, so. Been flashing for a while, it? They're both going off. Yeah. Oh, wow. Spirit, I'm going to ask you to stop. Can you stop? Stop doing it. Leave the lights alone for, for a minute, please, if you don't mind. Spirit, can you just leave those lights alone, please? If that... Yeah, I know you like them. Crumbs, we've got everything going off. <laughs> Hiya, Chris. Thanks for joining. I'm going to ask you again, Spirit, please. Just oh, brilliant. Leave, leave the lights alone for a second. I hope your dog and Shush. cat are, wait, are watching too. Shush. Shush. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Stop. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much if, that, if, you, if it was you. Would you mind walking up to one of the other lights? And, and uh, doing the same, same thing? Hi then? Caroline, thanks for joining. There's a, a box over there, a little square. If you walk up to that, that'll do the same thing. There's one here. Is and if you walk up and try and I think it was Rob touch that in red light, you'll here. get all different mm -hmm. colours. Yours. Come on, we've already established that you like setting the ones off on the table, so... Okay, okay I'm, I'm not entirely okay. convinced, but go on, I'll, I'll go with it. Look. It's not me. The wind's blowing the cat ball. See? Okay, alright. Okay. Spirit. Alice. If anybody can, um, Alice. if anybody wants to share this Alice. out, please feel free and be very grateful. Yeah, if you've got any pages or anything that uh, you can share it onto, that'd be great. Because Sarah's got her phone turned off, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well, you want to tag some friends into it that might be interested, you know? Absolutely. So, yeah, Caroline, yeah. Um, it's promising, definitely, considering we didn't know whether we get anything. it's. Uh... So if, if that was you, making those like, little green lights flash, thank you very much, really appreciate that. Could you do it again? I'm inviting... Okay, thank you very much. I'm on it, I'm on it. Spirit, I'm going to... Brilliant, thanks Claire. I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, stop for now. Stop a minute, please. Stop. That way we can continue. Sound. Right, okay. Adam says he knows the main story surrounding this place and it's, it is a true story. It's not just folklore. If you want, If you want him to say, yes, please. Yeah, that's fine. Al says he doesn't know why, but he's sensing a young woman with a head hanky type thing on her head. 
Uncle Be Bride. Hey, Hanky. Does he mean a scarf? Hanky. I love, I love that description. He, I've read it exactly how he put it on here. A head hanky type thing on her head. How old is he? See, that's not me. I've moved further away now. I'm starting to wonder whether it's Joe. Right, okay, well. Yeah, but she hasn't moved. I haven't moved. Now, yeah, well, hold on. Now you've moved. Yeah, okay, I've got a wet bum too. <laughs> I'm just sitting no, on stopped. a damp stone. Yeah, but so is that one. Okay. We don't know. So, if you just remain okay. there. Okay. Oh, I was going to come back. Alright, come back then. We'll see if it starts Right, just see. That's me then. Oh, Sorry. That's disappointing. It's not, it's, not, it's not paranormal, it's me. Lisa. Yeah, that's me then. I can't get far enough away from them. Um, move the table back a bit and put the other one on the wall. Okay, so we've debunked that one. Oh, Shambers is he's panting. He's what he likes watching us on TV. Tell him. Ask Al if we're okay. Today. Hang on. Uh, right, Adam says there were a newly married couple murdered there. As to the names, he doesn't know, but they were definitely murdered. Ah, right, okay. So, we, that, so we did, we did. Well, we thought there was a murder, um, but we didn't know it was. Alice and Lisa. Okay. Come through on this. No men. Irish. Were were you Irish? Oh, she. Sorry. <laughs> Apologies. Were you Irish? Okay, so I'm. I'm going to ask. The spirits of the couple that were murdered here. Would you come forward and talk to us? Are you here? I know you. Do you? Yeah, we had no. that last night. Please come forward. We, won't, we don't mean you any harm or disrespect. Who do you know? Can you tell us whose name? Al's gone to switch phones. Put it on the telly, Al. <laughs> oh, hi, Rob. Thanks for joining. Hi, again, yeah. Is it possible just to... Just to turn the light off a bit. Yeah, two seconds. I'm just going to turn the light off. So we're going to go. We're going to go dark. Okay. Can you still see anything? You can just see the little little lights. Yeah. Can't see people. Okay. It might be a bit. It might. Are you, Danny? Possibly find it a bit offensive. Hope you're feeling better. I don't know. There's any spirits with us now? You'd like to come forward if you want to speak to us. We'd like you to speak to us. You feel anything, Diane? Not at the minute, no. no. Come and step forward. Yeah. Give us this opportunity to be more. Hey, Steve. Refuse. Refuse. Yeah. Do you refuse to step Hi, forward? Hi, Matthew. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> turn the light back on or? Yeah, can do. Turn it, turn it all the way down. Then. It's, it's yeah. down as, as far it? as it's going <coughs> to go, yeah. Try some rods in a minute. Yeah, we're good. Thanks, Danny. Hi, Ian. <laughs> As I said, I've got one or two little bits and bobs, little toys, boxes, whatever you want to call them, on the floor and dotted around. So if anybody, as normal, if anybody feels, senses, anything, hears, shout up and I'll, uh, I'll keep up with it all. Caroline says she's feeling you know, much sadness around us, but that would be, that would ring true. 
uh, for the circumstances. And Matthew's <coughs> getting a David. Again, that, that, that's every time now. It's Do we have a David time, that follows us? I've read, uh, we've had a David. It's regular. I get the feeling. I, I get the feeling that it's quite... like a, a subdued. I don't think many people come here that often, although that there's a pathway. Um, but I, I, I just get. It makes me feel a bit subdued. I think they're fascinating. I mean, oh, why would you put marks, two big stones there? Mm. Yeah, there's like. Two lines here. Two there. Don't try to look up. Two right on the top. Two on that one. We've taken some pictures, so obviously I'll post those onto the uh, onto the page. Claire <coughs> says she's feeling sort of jealousy. I wonder if that's why they were Jealous murdered. Father? Yeah. Didn't really. If, if I or if I can't have him or her, nobody's going to have him or her. It's possible. Hi, Simon. <laughs> Go on, go on, make these lights. Oh, wow. Light Much love from Haunting Hunters HQ. Welcome, Haunting Hunters. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us. Come a step forward. Don't jump, that's Diane and Darren over there. <laughs> They're hard. Oops. They've said we don't mean any harm or disrespect. We just wish to hold some kind of communication with yourself. Maybe you have a story or a message. We're all ears. We'd like to listen to the, to it. Yeah, I can see why you say that. Claire says the stones look like there's two people on the on the stone. Sort of, yeah, you, yeah. Like carved into the stone. Like it's yeah, sort of imprinted on the stones. Matthew is also getting a Johnson. Now, was that the surname? Do we have spirits with the name Johnson? <clears throat> Adam says every time he's been here, he's, he's burst into tears for no reason. Well, that would be the sadness, wouldn't it? Just, to me, it does feel a bit subdued. Claire says it's like it's frozen in time. Do you know, I actually feel a bit tingly, a bit goosebumpy. Yeah. Hmm. Hi Al, he's back. Maybe you can make a noise. There's two little ribbons, I um, don't know whether you can see. Over there's a couple of pink ribbons tied in the tied in the bush over there. I don't know what and they're the for. The Hi Julie! Your mum's on, set. My mum? Yeah. Hi mum. Oh no, it isn't your mum, sorry, it's with the Julie Bailey. Beg your pardon, sorry. Julie <laughs> Bailey? Ah, yours is Jules Bailey, isn't she? Your mum? Unless she's changed her name back. Unless she's changed her name back. What's the picture? Actually, it could be your mum, because it looks like Mia. We're deliberating now, Julie, whether that's... No, it's nothing. It enough. isn't, no. Huh? Nope. We have two Julie Baileys on the page, that's good. <laughs> Welcome. Should I try some rods? Yeah, Simon says he's, he's, he's the same as Claire. It seems like there's two people, but st but the stone. Uh, Caroline says the energy coming from the stone is weird. Can you elaborate on that, Caroline? Caroline, oh, do you know, I can't get my Irish. teeth in today. Irish again. Or maybe it was an Irish couple. Claire says the slim one is the bride and the bigger one is the groom. Okay. Would they? Yeah, yeah. So I'll walk you around the other side. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank Whether you, Julie. Or have these been put in? Bear with me. I'm just going. I'm just going to walk it. I'm trying to try not to break my neck because the stone's sticking up out there. Let me just. This is. This is. This is from the other side. So let me just. Oh, I'm going to go with me. Whoops. Those are them from the other side. It gets very confusing. We've got more than one person with the same name. <coughs> now, on this one. Was it on this one? Yeah, on this one. Bear with me. There's a little mark in there. 
No, we try. We were trying to. Yeah, we were trying to establish whether it's in just how the stone has corroded, whether it's been marked like that or what. I don't know. Have you got my torch? Yeah, yeah. See what I mean? There we go. Claire says it looks like a veil on them. Yeah. And Caroline says she can't figure it out like it's pulling me into it. Yeah, wait a minute, let me just let me find my stone again. There we are. That one, look how perfect. Pretty much straight, isn't it? Uh, Adam says, as they're newlyweds, that's why it's called the bride stones, probably, yeah. Peter says, is it in a prominent position? Um, <coughs> would you class this as a prominent position? Not really. Not really, no. It's, um, yeah. it's off a road, across a field. And we've just set the dog off again. Um, <laughs> that's a different dog. And... There's bushes and that. It's quite secluded, to be quite honest. Uh, a little hidden, if I would say. Almost a private sort of place. No, Al, we haven't, but that's a good thing. He says, have you got a compass to put by the stone to see if the energy from the stones affect it? Will compass work without? Oh. It could well be. Could be the back of them. Quite strange. <coughs> you hear something behind you? Yeah, something over here. Okay. Ah, Claire says it's almost like the back of them taking their vows. It could be. Oh, with me. Try not to blind you. Right, where do you want something clicking on? Right? There's something clicking. Is it electric? It's not an electric fence, is it? No, there's barbed wire, but not an electric fence. But there's something clicking behind us. Oh, right. Ian says. Um, Adam says we're not far from where the Congleton cannibal did his crimes oh. and Ian says there were more stones originally one of them has ended up in a local park in Stoke that's interesting put the compass by the stones and see if the energy affects it <coughs> no Matthew's getting a rob now that could be our Rob, maybe. And Claire says her dog stopped panting. That's interesting. Yeah. I can hear something. Can you go? Like, over here. I can't even know where Rob's gone. It's usually over here. Yeah, Rob's in the bushes. Stand still a sec, Rob. Yeah. Stand still I a sec. I thought there could be running water over there before. I couldn't see anything. There's like um, there is there's like a like a little clicking over here. Yeah. I've got to watch because. No. Hi, Hiya, Gav. Thanks for joining. They're nice barbed wire, aren't they? Can you tell me? No, there's no electric fencing. There's actually a style gate there. Um. Uh -huh. Al says it needs to be a proper compass, not a phone one. That was the best I could do. <laughs> <laughs> we will invest in one, Al. We will, because that that's an interesting thing, actually, that we can uh, we can try again. Do you want to try the rod, then, Rob? Yeah, that's. Anybody like to have a go? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Ian says originally there was a, I'm gonna, I don't know whether I'm going to pronounce this right, a cairn chamber, which had three chambers 
and the stone has been moved over the years. Rob just go. said, was it, was it a tomb? It That's yeah. what we were just trying to work out, if that would have been the top of it. Because it is about the same. Yeah, that makes that. perfect sense then, so it was yeah, part the of the chamber. Size. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know you were born in Biddulph. <laughs> Matthew's getting much sadness and angriness, you know, like lot angry like feeling around us. The, yeah, Rob, hmm? instructions please. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> um, Keep going. Once again, I'm calling out right. any spruce. Knock your thumbs off the thingy. They've got to be able to go freely, that's it. Oh, right, okay. That's it. Okay. I know it's doing something wrong. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Once again, I'm calling out to any spirits that may wish to communicate with us. You probably are aware of what, what uh, Diane is holding. Diane is the, Suicide. Is the lady that's uh, sitting in front of me, myself. Um, you, if you can see what, what, that there are dowsing rods. Um, we'd like to invite you to um, interact with ourselves using the rods. Claire she's can offering, see her face. She's offering her energy Where? for you to use. Can you screenshot, um, Claire? So, if you're with us, next to the stone, could you cross the rods for me, just to show that you're with us? Gotta bear in mind there is a little bit of breeze, so. Day two's going on, but I don't know whether it's. That's not me. I haven't moved. Yeah, but Joe's not moved again. I can okay. If if, if you're unable to in. if you're unable to uh, manipulate the rods, you can all, uh, you can still walk up to the, the little boxes or little devices on the floor. If it comes back, Claire, can you yeah just grab a screenshot? But we for would us like again. to focus focus on, on that'd be great. On Thank you. Your name. My name is Rob. Yeah, we'll introduce. Yeah. I'm Sarah. I'm Joe. Larry. Diane. Okay, so you know who we are. <clears throat> Can you tell us your name? Oh. Spirit, if you're manipulating it, yeah, that might be the wind that's blowing at the end. Just let it settle down a bit. That's it. Spirit, if you can manipulate those rods, can you cross them just to let us know that you're with us? Courage. I don't know why. I just keep seeing somebody just running up the field. Up this way. I don't know why. Male, Red female. Jack and male, I think. But You're with us. Make it out, it's just glass. Three times I've had it now. Cross oh, the roads. Um, Adam, Adam says he's sensing a bride in her dress, which could be a symbolism that they were they, they were newlyweds. Uh, and he's getting a sore throat, which is telling him that she had a throat cut and a throat slashed. <laughs> yeah. I thought I saw something there then, but it's, it's, it's the plants. Interesting. Matthew says the spirit can also control the wind. Andrea. Andrea, if if you're the bride, Andrea, I'm quite lonely. Could you cross those rods for me, please, me. if it's possible? Just cross the rods, just to show you that you're here. We would very much like to talk to you. There's that clicking again. Is it clicking in time with that? With what? That K2. Nice. Possibly. Lad. I hope that was a midge. Incidentally, can anybody feel uh, anything? Could be, Claire. Are you caught, Does anybody could be get quite any right? feelings or any... I feel warm. Just warm. Come on, step forward. We're inviting you to communicate with yourselves. You really want? Yeah, no, I say like men talk. 
Yeah. Don't forget yeah, that could be that car, it weren't that. that could be carrying from the farm yeah, over the there because like the voices all carry, won't they? As I've said before, we invite you to to step mm -hmm. forward, come through the veil, Charles. Come through the veil, cross the rods just to show that you're here. We would very much like that. Hmm? You're having for a sec because you're stand out the way. Stand up behind the what's it? Yeah. <coughs> Adam said it's a very atmospheric place to be. And we'll have to try Nipersley Pool. Yes, definitely. Gavin seen droids. Oh. That's interesting. Oh. Oh. Claire's got Charles. Yeah, that was. Right. Yeah, we're going to go up to Nipersley one of the days. Straight forward, come through the veil. We don't mean any harm or disrespect. Show us you're here by crossing the rods. As I said before, if, if you have a message or. Silent. Okay, we can do that. We remain <laughs> silent for a minute. Ciao. Al's sensing someone wants to talk to you. Do you have the spirit box with us yet? We've got spirit talk of um, running as well, Al. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Gav says druids. He can't smell, sorry. Um, so he's sensing druids like a pagan ced ceremony. Pagan on, yeah. yeah, we've had pagan. Oh, we've had pagan come through on the uh, spirit talk, haven't we? Now how far do these go back? Yeah, BC. Mm. So would, they would have been around. They yeah. possibly would have been. Yeah. They could possibly have been quite a significant part of a a pagan ceremony, couldn't they? Come on, we're still waiting. We're still here. We still want you to do to cross the rods for us. Caroline says the stones are a portal that the energy. It, get and read it right. The stones are a portal that is the energy she's getting. That's why she feels like she's being drawn in. Interesting. Thompson. Mm. Did we have that earlier? Mm, I've not heard that one before. Thomas. Yes. Now hold on, because Matthew, didn't you say Johnson earlier? Mm. Oh, is that where I've heard it? Yeah, because we wonder whether it was a... Those are leaves and that falling down, aren't they, I think? You can hear them. See, that I've just got a feeling I'm going to end up over the other side of this wall in a minute. <laughs> Have they gone wide? Yeah. yeah. yeah it was right. Yeah, it was John it was Johnson, Matthew is getting. Not not Thompson, well, Johnson. Thompson. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Spirit. We've had a Thompson come through, so please come forward. Come on, spirits, come on. Come and talk to us. Cross the rods. Cross the rods to show you here. Somebody running it up, up up this this field again. Right. Behind you. Like behind you. Manifesting. Behind. Manifesting. Oh, manifesting. Oh, manifesting. Oh. If you're manifesting, where? If you can show yourself, that would be incredible. Matthew says he feels like he wants to talk with us. This this chap that. That's okay. Thompson we're, Johnson. We, we're Johnson. More than willing to speak with yourself. Come on, we're quite happy. We welcome you coming forward. Do the murder groom. 
try not to. I'm just going to shine it down there a bit more. Now that's strange because that light is pretty bright, but it's actually not shining up on that's the big. screen. A big ale. Really you look. Here. You look how bright that is, but it's still it's dark cross. on the screen. Yeah. Cross then, yeah. Abigail. 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 If you've just crossed them rods, can you open them for me, please? Can you swing them back open? That was my stomach. That was my stomach. It wasn't paranormal. <laughs> if you could, please, open the rods. If that's you, Abigail. Wow. wow. <laughs> if choice. Abigail, can you cross the rods if you're happy for me to come a little closer? Okay. If that's you, if you, if that's you affecting that that green light, thank you very much. Could you do one of the others? These other other little boxes and things. If you walk up to them or touch them, you might be able to affect those and and make them flash or change colour. Thank you, Caroline. Come on, spirits, we meet and we don't we don't mean you any harm at all. And certainly no disrespect, so understand. That's good. If you did if if you were responding to that I'm, I appreciate it. What what we just what was the last thing you asked for the gods, Joe? If she was happy for me to step a little closer. Was that close or open? Uh, cross them, if she was happy for me to. So I'm staying put. Matthew's getting a Tommy. Tommy. Hiya, Sue. Adam says there's a chamber that's underneath these stones. It's... She pushed. Mm. She pushed. That's great, Sue. Thank you very much. the wind that's it's got them again isn't it? Abigail <laughs> if it's possible I'd like to ask you some questions and but I need Rose. to Rose? Rose Rose is that a name? Were those your wedding flowers? Yeah, good thank you. Yeah. Abigail, if, if that is you or anybody else, um, cross the ground. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, very much. Claire. We love having everybody on. Children, this is great. Your interaction's brilliant. So, um, we appreciate it very much. I'm going to ask you some questions, and the the answers will either be yes or no. But I do need to know, to understand how you'd like to illustrate the word yes or no. So. I'm going to ask. I can't see now, Jen. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> Are we straightforward? <laughs> we, could you just straight, straight the rods for me? They? Okay. Yeah, just centralise them ah. yourself. Okay. The rods are centralised. I'm going to ask if, if it's possible for you to illustrate how you would like to, the, to answer yes. If we ask some questions and the answer would be yes or no. How would you like to say yes? Sue's getting a name. I don't know. Is this, this correct? De Deja? Daja? There's a name. Deja vu. D A J A. Daja. Daja. Mm. Is that spell? Is that correct, Sue? Encounter. We'd like to encounter you. So that'd be great. Again, I'm going to ask. We'd like to. We'd like to ask you how you. Would... <laughs> That's great, Claire. I would like to have the positive vibes. Answer as yes. Show by show by manipulating that by manipulating the. And before Ian pipes up with it, good vibrations. Yeah, I know. <laughs> ah, like de deja, deja. Right. Uh, Peter says he's getting the feeling that these stones were part of a burial complex for an ancient tribal chief, his wife and children, who were slaughtered many thousands of years ago. 
I'm seeing burning torches and oh, bear with me, I'm gone. I have a lot of words. You comment on Peter. There we go. Burning torches and ceremony taking place. Well, we Good, quite possibly, absolutely. Spirits. Yeah, we have had yeah. yeah, children's spirits come through. So, were they sacrificial? Gav says he sees hands being tied, but it's more of a pagan thing, a binding to each other and the land. I'm angry. You see these stones. I mean, if they've been around that long, they've gone through some times, haven't they? Well, that's obviously had some over it because <coughs> you've got, you've got, no, Claire, don't do it. Don't be it's tempted. All the way across there, so some rubbed that way across it at some point, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because there's. You see what I mean? The channel. Yeah, yeah. It's had summit across it. Yeah. I know I'll catch me the bum. Are you alright? Listen. Yeah. Listen. Okay, we're listening. Sue feels burning flesh. Awesome. Spirit, if you manipulated those rods, can you bring them back out straight for me? No. Back out straight, please. That's defiance. Shall I'm getting that thing with my ears again. You know how when it's as if I'm going deaf like I had. I don't know where he was. Oh, Adam says the chamber is massive in size and houses a lot of human bones. Hmm. Don't know whether I like standing here anymore. <laughs> is that what this you've given me, here? you've given me the eebies now. There's a big mound there, yeah. So is that right? Sue so says smells burning flesh. Was this used for sacrifice yeah, land? Quite it's possibly. <laughs> Matthew's feeling very warm in his right eye, almost like fire. And Peter says the stones are Neolithic, three to ten thousand years BC. Yeah. I'm going to ask, Spirit, obviously you, we've got minimal interaction from you. I now want to know if he wishes to leave. Gav's getting a very happy place. You're not want, getting the doom and gloom. I want to know if you if he wishes to leave. But the thing is, in order to get us to leave, you need to interact with us. It's twice now again, we've had. I'm angry. Again, I don't mean right. none of us mean you any disrespect between, or, or any harm. That's interesting. We I need think. to know that you want us to leave. There's the megaliths. Leave. So what I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to ask you whether it's now or this trip forward. Device. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. You know, okay. You can. No, it's going back. He says, it's going back to me. "How's he gone? The I mean, megaliths are on on the top of the entrance. <laughs> so those would be the stone, the ones that we came through, wouldn't they?" Again, I'm, going, have to, a look at I'm those. going to ask you if you want us to leave, and I want you to do that. <laughs> you can, you can do. I, I need to that see. That will be in here. I need to see proof that <laughs> Could you're here. Could do with a cup of tea now. Before we leave, because to be honest with you, I don't think there's anybody with us. So what I want you to do in order to get us to leave, I want you to do. Are they open still? Yeah. Okay. I want you to either cross the rods, or open them wide. I need some kind of interaction from yourself. I want to see these lights flashing. So he's getting obviously the sacrifice that many many people died here. And many may want to cross over. In order to Claire's do eyelids, eyes are warming up. Uh, her eyelids warming up, and Matthew keeps, you know, almost like he's got fire by his eye. Again, I, I repeat myself. In order to for us to leave or, or to take this any further, we need some kind of interaction with yourself. You can see the boxes on the floor. I live on. What? I live on. You, we can see the boxes on the floor. We, we need. We need you to. Uh, Either flash those or manipulate the rods. Because at the moment there are no spirits with us. Peter says an interesting one. It'd be interesting to see if the sunrise aligns with the chambers at certain times of the year. 
it certainly would. Yes. Because a lot of these stones were put in strategic places, weren't they? And the moon. Well, the yeah, moon, and the moon. The moon yeah. was right there. Which does actually line up with that. Matthew. Matthew. Here we've got Matthew just come through. Um, Adam says a lot of people died there here. It's a massacre site. Now he knows because obviously he's lived around here. So, well, if you want, I mean, if you want the, the truth, your truth to come out, if you've got something to say, we need the, we need the interaction with yourself. Okay. Have you got a numb bum like me. <laughs> I don't know if you'll pick it up on there, but the moon does actually line oh. up with those. Okay. If you look at it, you've got a snap bang behind you, lines up with them. Oh my body went shooting. Well, have a look, is it? Al says, is the entrance of the cairn facing south? <coughs> no, I say. Hang on, let me get the compass. I'd Where's say it's facing the entrance? east. Now, where those are, okay, the moon at the minute. He's there. So I don't know. They would be facing south because we're that's east. If that's the entrance there, that's that's east. Didn't they used to do um, burial chambers with the with the entrance facing a certain way? Have you lost it? Forgive me, I can't. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure they did, didn't they? Like burial yeah, chambers they and that, didn't they? Yeah. Sure they did. Yeah. Not near Where's the entrance? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. East. East is there. So he says stones are burial sites. Yeah, yeah. We're on sacred lands here. Adam <laughs> says there's a link somewhere with a cloud in some way as to what he doesn't know yet. That's east there. Yeah, so that, there, there's the entrance then, so the entrance is facing east, yeah. which is, yeah, yeah, Adam's just confirmed, yeah, that burial chambers did, they had, they had, because they used to face, what is it, sets, rises in the east and sets in the west, isn't it, or is it the other way around, the sun? Yeah. If you walk, there's, there's a, a stone blocking it that way. Rap. Oh, yeah. I don't know why oh, yeah. the spirit would say your name, Again. but it's come through. That's right, Peter, yeah. I, I, yeah. It's facing east to accept the sunrise, so yeah, it rises in the sun. It rises in the east, sets in the west, yeah. Claire's right eye, so, yeah, right eye keeps glazing over. <clears throat> Have you moved it? No. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Spirit, I'm going to ask you again. Yeah, Al says, so. Al says if, sorry Rob, Al says if it's facing south it's more likely to be a dwelling. If it's facing <coughs> east or west it will be to do with life and death. So yeah, it, it will be it's a chamber east. then. So that's right, it is yeah, a, facing yeah, east. I'm going to ask Spirit, I'm going to ask you if, again, I wish, we wish to communicate with yourself. I'm beside you. Wow. Beside who? Which one? There's five of us. Who are you standing by? Oh. Can you can you point those rods to where you're standing? If you're standing directly in front of the rods, cross them. Can you take those rods to where you're standing? Or cross them if you're directly in front of them. Oh. 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 Can you show yourself as an orb? Just walk in front of that light that's, that Joe's got. And everybody will be able to see you then. Forest. Now there is a lot of trees round by us. We had wood earlier on. Oh. 
Oh, bear with me, just need to move. There's a certain way to sit on this stone. <laughs> yeah. One has to get it in a comfortable spot. Yeah, careful you don't go backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One spirit, want to know where you're standing, want to know where you are. Take the rods and point them, so, point them at you. If, you if the red rods are already pointing at yourself, please cross them. Right, interesting thing here, Rob. You think of the wind that's blowing and look how still those rods are. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They are quite still, con considering. Because that wind, that, that's quite strong, that wind. Yeah, it's the one I had on. Evening. Evening. Evelyn. Evelyn is out there. Mm. Have I missed... quite an old name as well, isn't it? Yes. If I've missed Millie, I, don't, I haven't seen her name pop up, but I, I apologise. I'll say hello, Millie Grattan, if... Uh... Can you make a sound? Touch one of us in a nice way, of course. <clears throat> House. Can you move those rods to where you're standing? Ah, I can say hi, Millie Grattan now. <laughs> Mom. You did actually, Matthew, yeah. You did say that. Uh, Spirits can control the wind. I think they've got hold of those rods, but not wanting to communicate with us because they're turns, absolutely dead still, aren't they? It turns absolutely well, the wind look actually. at the bush next to it. Look how mad that's going. Yeah. Just to the, the side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say again, Rob. Go on. I was, I'm interested in the fire now because I was going to say the wind has actually dropped. but It keeps dropping <coughs> and then it picks up, <coughs> doesn't it? Mm. So cool. We are technically in a circle if you include the stones. My stomach. Do you want us to stand in a circle? See those those are absolutely oh, dead still and they're they're Have you seen them Rob? Hmm? Those rods they're like Yeah. Considering I mean you can see how lightly Darren's got them and they're like dead still considering this, they're exposed really to the okay so are you standing oh, spirit are we going to are we going to take it that you're standing right in front of those the rods caroline says they're standing to the left of me or the left, or the left of Darren. Oh, right, okay, Adam. <laughs> okay, Spirit, I, are they, have they crossed or are they? Have they crossed? They've crossed. Spirit, can you, if you're manipulating the rods, can you open them for me? Can you swing them back out again, please, so they're straight ahead? Yep. Mash them again. What's that? Mash them again. It wasn't, well, oh, it wasn't yeah. anything. It's objecting to the Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Won't be doing that again, will you, Bob? Hiya, Josie. <laughs> Are they crossed? Yeah. So he says the spirits are all around us and they're wondering who we are and why you're here. Um, Matthew is feeling very confused. Spirit, if you if you're wondering wondering who we are, we're basically nobody special. We all we wish to do is establish some kind of communication or. Now that's interesting. Sorry, I'm, I'm now I'm butting, but that's interesting because those rods have moved. And Caroline said that they're standing to the left. This is it. No. 
But yeah, if yeah. that's the left of Darren. <clears throat> yeah. What's in between me and Darren? Yeah. Can you feel anything? Well, we should, it should have gone with that. Yeah. I mean, that's not the problem, but I've got to jump around there. I know, it won't as well, so. Could you centralise them again, please? We've got we'll downstairs the same here, yeah. Again, just, to, just to verify. Darren. It is Adam, yeah. It's alright, he's just asking, he said, what's the name? The gentleman's name is holding the rods. <laughs> That's old. Old, yeah. Do we have a Nora with us? Is that ah. your name? I'm going I'm to ask again. Nora, if you're here as well. If you're with us, just point the rods in your direction so that we can we know that where you are. Where you are. If, you, if the rods are already pointed at yourself, Please cross them. Hal says you sit, there seems to be a gathering of Lawrence. people now watching us. Lawrence. And yeah. Matthew's still getting Johnson. I reckon that might be a surname, possibly. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. We basically, we, we are nobody special. We just come here. Do that play two go off yeah? What? That's play two down there. Okay. Viking. Yeah. Viking. <coughs> Were you viking? Were you viking across the rods? Caroline, Caroline says, yeah, to the left, to the left of Darren, where the, where the rods were pointing. I don't know whether I want to tell him that, Adam. <laughs> I'm going to say. He says, you look a bit like the murderer of the newlyweds. Oh. <laughs> oh. I knew there was something you were keeping from me. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a picture of this murderer somewhere then? On I don't know. I mean, I think and it, you don't forget his media is. Well, yeah, yeah, so you might just get um, a visualization. Yeah. Oh, Spirit, if you if you are with us, Charming, isn't it? point the rods in your direction. Absolutely, so Josie. So yeah. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. You. Josie says she's. Um, there's definitely been rituals that she, you know, she can feel here. That'd be brilliant, Adam, yeah. Adam's going to try and find a picture. Oh, it's moving out to there now. Well, it's suddenly me, in between me and you then. It's yeah. quite in between. Me and Joe. Yeah. Al says, ask them if they were Danes. Are you they Danish? didn't call themselves Vikings, did they? Mm. Are you Danish? <laughs> Here's the cow moves in acknowledgement. <laughs> <laughs> hey, funny that you know. I've got a Viking compass. Make sure you're alright, Matthew. Oh? It happened here. What happened here? Forgot about that. It's a Viking, isn't it? Adam says Danes were actually close to the River Dane. That's interesting. Mm. Yep. I didn't know that one. <coughs> oh. uh, yeah. Yeah. I was just yeah. shivering, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you tog. But then I've got a seizure on another top of coat. And you're shivering. And shivering. Oh, you're okay. Yeah. You're all right. Okay. If you need to break, just give us a shout. Yeah, no one. It fascinates me that those rods are like so still considering the way I mean okay it's dropped at the minute. A lot. But you're probably holding them looser than you know, in some ways than, than anybody any one of yeah. us. Obviously we don't, you know Well the actually whoever the person is, are they in between me and Joe? It's, it's been pointing that way for Yeah, a it's while, in between me I? and you. Just pointing mm. there, yeah. Spirit, if you're standing between myself and Diane can you bring the other rod to acknowledge that, please? Daughter. Diana Walker says, hi, Diane and Darren. Hope you're okay. Hi. Give him a wave. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Darren can't wave at the minute because <laughs> he's connected. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Matthew says the spirit's watching us behind 
in the trees. It's funny actually because I keep, yeah, 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 I heard that then. Yeah, do you hear that then? The footsteps, do you hear that, Rob? Oh, you know, we were just wondering whether there was somebody actually over that wall. But I don't believe that wall was originally there. It's funny when it's just done at me, Jack. Yeah, I know, yeah, no wind come and up. The wind's yeah. blowing, look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just done at me. It's a good job he's got a cap on because I can't blind him. <laughs> <coughs> I just can't, I can't get over those rods. You know, they're still, aren't they? Yeah. Through the bushes. Yeah. Spirit, can you take, can you just confirm where you're standing? Can you take both of the rods to where you're standing? And if there's two of you, so one standing in one direction and one in the other, can you cross them? Thanks for coming back, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here? Yeah. That's somebody coming down with a dog. Do you want to go and see if you're alright? Let's go and explain. Yeah. Hang on, Rob. Have a talk. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Yeah, yeah, I'll come good. with you. That's right, there's somebody just come down with a dog, yeah. so Rob and Sarah are just going to go and yeah, okay. make sure that they're all right. And yeah, make know. sure that they know we're, we're here and not doing any you mischief. Ooh, I don't want to upset you. Oh, yeah, the dogs could be upsetting them. Well, that, yeah, that's interesting because I've had, they've upset me and then upset me. Wow. Is that okay? Is everything okay? Yeah. Might have to cut it short because there's two dogs over there going nuts. Okay. <coughs> Uh, Peter says he's sending us a strong connection to the Norse god Odin and Sue said dogs upset the spirit but we've had they've upset me, upset me well that went yeah. off, that come up, they've upset me just from the dogs so we'll see how the dogs yeah. go, if, see if the dogs settle down a bit yeah. but we might I think, I think that's the end, I, think, I obviously think they've that, moved. That they're down here, behind the walls oh, right, okay. oh, my bones. <laughs> what time is it now? I don't want to lift on that. Right. Okay. Mm. 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 Right. Um, unfortunately, the dogs are going nuts, and I don't think they're going to settle. So they're all right. They've gone. They're going. They're settled. We may have to cut this short in a second, so I apologise. Because uh, the dogs aren't going to settle. Thanks, Matthew. <laughs> I'm just going to ask um, if there's a spirit named Samuel mm -hmm. here. If there is, do we have Samuel? Can you... Can you cross the rods if there's a Samuel? Yeah, the dogs have got one. How weird is that? Oh, a bit dead on my legs. Cross. Yeah, they've just crossed uh, Adam. Yeah. So I've just asked. Well, you've just heard me. I've just asked if there's a spirit of Samuel, and they've crossed the rods. How have they got the head on? Sue says the stones have bones and artefacts under them. And Claire says the dog's all calm. Caroline keeps getting the word circle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we had circle on spiritual. Mm. Oh right, okay. <laughs> is it time to... Uh, Adam says Samuel is the Congleton cannibal. Right. 
Okay, we'll just do a quick, maybe a second then. So, Samuel, if you're here with us, mm -hmm. can you just cross the rods, please? I actually feel quite sick now. I feel faint. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Just going to give it a quick five minutes. Because the dogs are, aren't settling. Can you cross the rods if that's Samuel? What we could do, we could change location. Is that your belly? Yeah. I thought it was. Samuel, do you remember what you did to Anne? Cross the rods if you do. Yeah, it's just crossed them. Is that me setting that K2 up? Yeah, that's me setting that. Mm -hmm. Right. What are you after now? What are you? No, the sand that the dogs in bed with you. As soon as we go up there, because they're right behind that wall. Okay. Change location. What we could do is look, we could change location. We we'll carry on somewhere else. Okay, yeah. Right. Um, following on from the Congleton Cannibal, I think what we're going to do is move, because obviously uh, the dogs are going to keep going off. Um, is it far from where? No, it's, I reckon it's about 15 minutes max. Okay, so we'll be about 15 minutes, 15-20 uh, minutes and um we're just going to move well, and try and get a bit a bit closer to where the uh, the congleton cannibal struck um adam says anne was an actress in congleton in the eighter oh dear honestly i started shaking can you feel can you see me shaking right like break the break uh, break the connection down okay all right Okay, so bear with us. Um, I'll pop a post on. Um, when I put the post on, then we'll be about five minutes and we'll just move location. We're going to try and follow up on the Congleton Cannibal. So bear with us and I'll see you in a bit later. Okay, bye bye for now.